What's up guys, Sasha here. Today's episode, we're gonna get um, the Honda Ridgeline truck bed uh, restored. Like I mentioned before, um, it's really slick here. I mean, anything you put in here, it slides right forward. Um, the product I have here is the Herculiner. I ordered that off Amazon. The only bad part was it uh, got damaged doing shipping, so we got a slight mess, but at least I see how the product is supposed to look like. Um, before we get started, I got it already washed out. Um, we got to sand the uh, truck bed and then treat it with uh, acetone before we put the first coat on. But uh, what I really wanted to do is, because there's certain parts I don't want to get any paint on, is I'm gonna take all these screws out right here from these panels, uh, probably the lights and the hooks and everything here, trying to get all the stuff out of the way so I'm not gonna get unnecessary paint on all that stuff. And possibly tape this off on the top here. I try to take certain plastic pieces off, but I'm, I'm just gonna tape it off and done because it's just, I don't wanna break anything. You know how it goes with the plastic parts. And then we go from there. So first off, we're gonna take all these pieces off and get this started. It. That was a total of, you have four screws back here, there's six here in the side panel, six in the front, and six on this side. Um, that is all uh, T40. Um, I'm gonna get these guys off, I believe, here. There you go, this fits, that's a T50, so you need a T40 and a T50. What I also noticed, that panel back there is loose. That might be um, going to be a lot easier for me um, to paint that when I lay it flat instead of upright. Like I said, I wanted to try to get these off, but um, yeah, if anything I can take off, which makes my life easier, will do.
Got all the stuff out I wanted to get out. Um, we're not able to take these off here. We're just gonna leave them. I'm gonna take this off before I'm gonna do with the brush, or I'm gonna do a really fine line with the brush to try not to hit it. Um, next thing, we're gonna sand it. Get this go. I uh, got an old little sander here. What we're gonna use uh, um, 150 grit. Not too rough. Um, one don't want to stuff it up too bad. I just want to make sure the paint is full. some of it off or I'm just going to go straight through the rack and the acetone and uh, clean it up and then we're going to uh, buff it up a little bit more certain areas so it's like a sanding sponge and then we'll just go from there.
areas on the on these things here. I don't know if, how the rover is gonna work on it. But well, we'll keep on going and see how it goes. And then we have little spots when I drop something here, I just I just drop, brush it in already. Um, you're supposed to do like 24 hours until uh, you continue. You have to do everything within 24 hours. So guys, uh, that was the first coat. I'm about to put a second coat on there in about like four to six hours. It's supposed to need to be dry in the new so. Um, and like I said, this little sponge that comes with it right here, this works better than I thought because I did a lot with the brush where I didn't have to. Um, this, this roller here is perfect. You can get into the little edges. Um, even looking at it now, I mean, it looks like a lot better than it used to be. And I don't know if you can tell all the little spots right there. And I'm hoping it's going to be rough enough so stuff won't slide to the front anymore. Um, like you see right here, you can take that part out, which is right here, which makes it very easy for the ridge line to do this, this part right there. And I'm sure you get these side panels off too, and maybe you can even deinstall all of it and have it laying down but like i said i did not want to mess with the plastic pieces up here and uh mess them up mess them up or break something while i'm doing this so might as well just do it like that and once the second coat is dry i might have to do a little edges around here with a brush inside there um where the, um, the trunk lid is and Material wise, I mean this is all I got left here still, which is still a lot, so probably half a gallon is more than enough to do a Honda Ridgeline bed. Um, this is one gallon, and I think it was cheaper than for me to buy one gallon than, than uh, ordering two quarter. But um, that stuff can probably be used for something else in the future. Alright, stay tuned, we're going to put the second coat on here a little bit.
What's up guys? Day two. Um, was not able to put a second coat on yesterday. Four hours what they recommended after you put on the first coat. Uh, temperatures are a little cool right now. So I had to wait even last night when I waited like uh, eight hours. It still was a little tacky. So um, I thought, you know what, let it sit overnight and I'm gonna do the second coat, which is still within a 24 hour window. When those two materials bond together, the first and the second coat. Um, yeah, let's get started, get everything ready. Get the coat on here, see how it looks. There you go guys, that was it, that was the second coat um, of the coat liner, I'm gonna let it dry now, and I'm gonna put all the pieces back together, possibly tomorrow, I'll at least give it 24 hours to cure before I'm gonna step on there, maybe even a little longer, but yeah, the second coat is definitely necessary, I mean, I don't know if you can tell on the, on the video, but it's definitely a lot more smoother. Um, and the texture is like uh, the same. You don't have like little spots where you put a little too much on the first coat. But yeah, that was it for the day. So we're gonna put it back together later and see how it looks. So final day today. Uh, took me about like three days to get it all done now just because the paint wasn't drying fast enough. Um, Gonna put it all back together. So here's the final product for right now. I had to truck outside, but uh, I'll really like it. We gotta get it off. I cleaned them off with some uh, water and soap. All the dirt came off nice, so we can pop them in. I wanted to respray them, but I was just like, yeah, what the heck, just leave them how they are. Um, I only need six of them, two of them I'm going to leave off because we're going to install the hard top. And here's the other guys, the lights. Let's get them open.
So, got it all done. All the screws are back installed. All the hooks are on. Here's the finished project. project. Um, like I said, I left the upper ones out, the one up there, and the one here because this is where they're gonna get the top install. That is the next project. But yeah, again, thanks for watching. Peace out.